Hello again and welcome to uh, my chalkboard tutorials. Um, today we're going to be doing something slightly different simply because it's that time of year and one of the boards that I'll get to write at this time of the year is for Valentine's Day and the pubs have things like uh, Book Now for Valentine's Day so I thought we'd write that one. Uh, so here we go, that's the next uh, chalkboard on today for you, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've made a little bit of a start, um, nothing special, just a little bit of a spray with Liquitex, the uh, spray paint that's full of the same acrylic ink as we have in our Posca and our Posterman pens. Posterman and Posca pens have acrylic ink in them, and so is that. And, and basically, we're just going to use that as a background to give us a little bit of depth. So, uh, first of all, we're going to write Valentine's Day. So um, we have no choice but to do something with quite a flourish this time. Uh, and I'm going to start with quite a thin pen that's probably going to struggle to fill the space. Uh, but we're going to sort of do it tentatively to start with, just to get exactly where we want to be with the lettering. And then we can bulk it up a little bit after. So we're taking our care, uh, not doing anything too elaborate at this stage or final. Um, just putting the letters down just so we can have a little look and see if we've got everything in the right place now one thing to remember as well with valentines the word valentines it's an extremely long word and it can catch you out quite easily um, in fact it's uh, a word that i've often uh, had to write more than once because i've uh, not managed to get it in the space uh, that i wanted to and you might say, well, why didn't you mark it up? And uh, that would probably would have been a good idea for Valentine's to uh, mark it up first. I would suggest that uh, that's something you consider doing. OK, so there's Valentine's. We've just basically put it on the on the board to start with. Uh, let's get day. Um, I'll leave that for a second. I may well write it differently. So let's just get this top piece on on the T. There we go. Now, what we'll probably do is change to my favourite pen. Next size up and we're over onto Posca now. And what we'll do is just bulk up the important bits now. These bits around here and this line down here. We'll bulk it up and make it a bit stronger. And that, that sort of brings the calligraphy side of the letter font uh, in quite a lot. Uh, a very modern popular letter font this one is. Uh, that you'll see written lots of places um, and all we're doing now is just picking all the right edges to bulk up and give it a little bit more of strength as I've said this is acrylic ink that's in the Posca and uh, Posterman yeah, Posterman pens acrylic pigment ink so once it's dry give it a chance to cure properly you'll find it's waterproof and you'll be able to uh, put these boards outside if you need to. So there we go, that's the word Valentine's. And I'll just bulk these last little bits up. And as you've seen there, that we've pretty much used two pens to get that little bit in there. I'll just bang a dot in there. Now, what we'll do, just to see if we're happy with it, is we'll change over to black and this is where my heart in the background really comes into its home because you're probably looking at it in the moment and thinking hold on a minute white on white is that wise well the reason for that is because now what we're going to do is add this little bit around it and again i think i've mentioned it in other posts uh just making sure that you stick to the rule uh, with shadows and get the right side of each letter shadowed and then the whole thing will work lovely as this one does it's a proper calligraphy style letter is this this font so as long as you stick to all the rules you'll find this will come out really nicely and uh, i think the other thing that's really important is the fix and thins on this letter font and making sure that you've got a big contrast between thin and thick if you can concentrate on those little rules 
you should find you get yourself a nice little job now i won't know until i've completely finished this letter form whether it's going to need a little bit more um even now it's a little bit of guesswork at times so i'm just going to finish those shadows off um just in case anybody is unaware of how you make that roll, if you imagine with this one, the sun's here shining down, so you do everything on the opposite side, which I'm sure you're aware of. So there's Valentine's. Now, um, I think what I'm going to do, and a lot of these, a lot of times, this is all about sort of working as you go and seeing what you feel is best. Um, I was going to write day in the same letter font and and. Uh, tackle it that way but I've, I've having written it i've changed my mind a little bit and we're going to just drop that little block in there that we'll play with in a minute we'll give that chance to dry right we better get book now in so let's get book at the top here not going to do anything too elaborate for book simply because it's very important that people read book quite easily because the pumps really want people to book and you have to when you when you're writing these things you have to look at uh, what are the important words and sort of do them generally in, in importance so book is probably the most important word on this sign because it catches the attention and it's sort of the directive that uh, the pub wants used on this particular board. So we'll add book four. What an easy little letter font there that we've done. So book four, Valentine's. And then we'll, we'll just give that chance to dry. And then we'll be able to work on this one a little bit. But while it is drying, I'm just going to square it off a little bit. Just bring it in to its own a little bit more. So it'll stand out a little bit more. Now what I think we need to do is give this a little bit more white. Just to strengthen it up a little bit. And that'll be okay for that. Another a little trick that I always like to do is if you have a look at this word book at the moment. Um, the... the the pen marks are quite seen on it, which isn't a major problem because it, it is quite a good effect on chalkboarding to have that. But the other effect that I quite like is to add a second, slightly smaller pen, same colour on top and just go around the whole thing again. And it just brings it out a little bit more, just depicts the letters. And uh, again, I, I think I use the word depth quite a lot in uh, these tutorials and again i think that just adds a little bit of depth okay i think also I'm, i am also going to shadow that because i think my heart that i did my little spray heart has, has caught it a little bit and so we've got the advantage to shadow that as well so we might as well just go around there and give that a little bit there we go and there's no reason why we shouldn't do it with the other word as well just a little bit it's such an easy thing to do and such a great effect that uh, i would always suggest you use it just to help yourself a little bit so there we go book for valentine's we'll leave that a bit longer it's just waiting to dry so now we're going to do a little bit of a graphic. Now, um, I haven't sort of explained this yet, um, but on a lot of the boards that we do for Valentine's Day at the pubs, oh, well, we'll just add that there, look. I keep meaning to uh, just add a little bit more of a line in there, and we'll shadow that in a moment. I think that should be done. Um, offers. They sometimes have some offers, um, and it gives us a chance to do a little bit of a quick drawing. Um, so, again, it's another one of those, can you guess what it is yet, moments. Uh, I'll just do a couple of lines like this, just to help me a little bit. And then we'll swing that round there, and swing that one round there. Like that. And that. 
Same on that side. Couple of little lines there. Same on that side. And then as you well know, I love, I'll just grab my pen. I love my uh, smudge, so here we go. Add a little bit of white. And then smudge. Some light lines. And the light lines that always seem to make a good difference is two little dots just on there for your glass. We'll just have a go at colouring that in a tad. Couple down there to give this a little bit of something. And that'll do for that. Now the reason we've put two glasses on there, and this really is just to show you um, some other little letters that we can write is there's a bit of an offer that we can put now just that there is probably going to catch what I want to do but we'll we'll see how we get on with that Oops, so the offer and this is where we get to use our one stroke letters is free make sure we've got the pen the right way around free glass of we'll stick that in there and yes you're right I am sort of making it up as I go along uh, but you sort of get the feeling for where things need to be how's wine That's important. I think we'll line that again. Broken lines. You'll see me doing broken lines quite often. And again, it's just to give it that little sort of uh, chalky look about it. That's the reason I sometimes don't do a complete line. Three glass of house wine. And then we'll move the pen chisel pen round a little bit. And I'll try some uppers and lowers just so you can see them. With every... booking and that's just something that um, I tend to write quite a lot with those I just wanted to show you uh, this letter font which is called we call it once one stroke or it's at least it's a take on one stroke I wouldn't say if you looked at one stroke it would be exactly the same as that for example recently I've changed the way I do my X's uh, but all well and good that's you know the preference I've decided to to go for now because we've got quite a lot of white in the background of this free and because free is such a very important word we're going to highlight that as well just to stand out on the board there we go so free glass of house wine with every booking um, and we just play with these just a tad more it's always a case of just playing with these and seeing where you go i think that's probably good enough um, and then we need to add day onto this little bit so it's book for valentine's day and we'll just write the word day in there if it's just not quite dry enough but we'll give it a go i'll just get away with it yeah just about you yeah, always have to be a little bit careful that things are dry it's just starting to uh, blend in a little bit there but we'll get away with that for now you can always touch these things up once they're dry after book for valentine's day free glass of house wine with every bottle and to finish it off a couple of lines all the way around again depending on what you're putting it in a frame of some sort this is either going to be 
needed or not needed but uh, even with a frame on it you tend to uh, want to finish it off and accompany it with this and maybe we'll uh, a little bit of a lump there and I'll sort that out in a minute maybe even want to put some little dots in there because it's uh, although my spray's given us some dots and you can always do a couple of the old cartoon movement lines just to wise it up a bit and there you go i think that's probably if we can just add a little flourish to that i think that's about it okay so there's my valentine's day board hope it's been helpful uh, send us a like and uh, subscribe if you uh, are enjoying all the different chalkboards that we're writing. Thank you for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon on the channel. See you soon. Bye.